This is what Archie does when he has free run. Runs around for a while, and then he comes up on my lap, and then he insists on a massage. And if I don't oblige, my finger first gets nibbled, and then if I still ignore him, I get bitten. Not very hard, just enough to tell me, hey, I'm here, and I demand a massage. Especially cheek rubs. They're the best, aren't they, Archie? The cheek rubs. You don't want me to stop, do you? You're also curious about what I'm working on screen. Because this little boy, I swear, can actually see and recognize what's on the screen. He's curious, isn't he? Great time for you to turn around a bit more again. Hey, Hutch. How about we put you in here and you can have a little snack? Yeah. <laughs> I know there's a horse on the screen. Editing wild horse stuff. Yeah. I know. You have no idea what that is, do you? No. Very strange, isn't it? Yeah. Someday I'll have to take you around to the neighbours and show you what a horse really looks like. Yeah. But right now, I can have a little snack. Yeah, actually, I think I will take you around to see the neighbours' horses. Archie's really good. You can just have him in your hand or on your shoulder and then you can go outside with him. No big deal. So maybe that's what we'll do with the little boy later on. Hey, Arch. <laughs> you want a cheesy? Would you like a cheesy? There you go. There you go. That'll keep you in Nicely occupied whilst I put up, go put on my shoes. Good little boy. That's yummy, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> good stuff, eh, Archie? Yeah, good stuff. You know, things are changing a little bit. I'm going to be taking you outside. You're going to love it. Yeah. No, you're going to hide. Yeah, I'm going to take you outside. Yes. Good boy, Archie. Good boy, mm -hmm. hand. Going to take you somewhere fun. Yes. Okay, let's go take you somewhere fun. Let's go see some horses. We have neighbors have horses, which is really nice. So whenever I want to see some horses, I can just go over and I have a horse to pet. And also, this way I can show little Archie what real horses look like, because he's been watching them as I edit on screen. And he seems very, very curious. No idea what his little mind is thinking, but he'll be thinking about something. <laughs> You're not going to be allowed anywhere near Archie. No. Got wood for the winter. <laughs> they always know when you're heading for home. I don't know how they do, but they always do. And excitement level increases. Being out is fun, but home feels safe. No, you're not allowed to come in. I'm really sorry, buddy. I know. Sorry, butterfly. What do you think? You're really curious. You don't want to see butterfly, trust me. She is a, not a nice cat when it comes to mousies. Not at all. Sorry, buds. You have to stay there. Oh, butterfly. <laughs> Sorry, buds. Let's go put you back. Everybody else is still sleeping. Yeah. So we're going to put you back here. 
There you go. You've got a nice fresh dandelion leaf. And I think I'll also get you another cheese. You were such a good boy. Ouch. Want a treat? Yes. You're a good boy. You were a really, really good boy. Back to editing. Ready to get going again, Arch? Oh, you sleepy. Yesterday you went to sleep and he was really cute. <laughs> I'm not touching. I'm not touching again. What do you want? I'm going to go down. Yeah, time to go run around again. Yes. Well, also reminds me I have to take off my shoes again to keep you safe. Yeah. Actually, speaking of which, I'm going to take this little boy and just put him in here for now. So I'm going to take off my shoes. <laughs> you really want to run free again, don't you? Yeah. Down he goes. What do you want, petting? What do you want? Now you want to be free. Free, petting, treats. All these decisions a mouse has to make. All these decisions a little mousey has to make. <laughs> A grooming? I think I need a grooming. So you don't get too rough. This is what I have to put up all the time. You have to put up with this little guy all the time. Now it's time to go free run. Off he goes. Hello, what do you want now? <laughs> is it time to go back into your cage? Go back into your cage, or do you want a little snack? Snack? <laughs> yeah, I have a feeling it's probably time for you to go back into your cage. You're getting very restless. I know, watching stuff on the TV. Want to hop in the hand? Put you away? Back home? Let's go put you away. That's probably what you want. Time for bed. You've been running around for a very long time. Let's go put you back. Down you go. Let's see if that's what you wanted. Mm, you can't make up your mind, can you? What do you want? You're not quite ready for bed yet. Little girl's waiting for you. <laughs> okay, alright. Not ready for bed yet. Okay, Archie. Alright. Okay, let's put you back into your little hut here. Okay, got treats and stuff. What do you want? Maybe something you want. What do you want? You bring me? <laughs> Can't make up your mind. Not at all. Somebody's having a little snack. Budgie, you can't make up your mind. What do you want? What do you want? Go back up. Come on, away. Here he goes. No, not quite. Do you want to go outside again? That was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, I know. Again. I wonder what's going on in that little tiny mind of yours. You want to go back up? Back. Up. up. <laughs> you want a snack? It's a nice little hide, isn't it? Yeah, that's what you want. A little snack. What do you want? You haven't quite made up your mind. If you want. Or you can go up and have a snack. Or you can run around. Lots of choices. Unless you want to go back to your cage. You want something. Mm. Mm, I don't think he wants back in his cage. 
but knows what he wants. <laughs> <laughs> Back it down again. What do you want? You just can't make up your mind. Move it down if you want to. What do you want? <laughs> you just can't make up your mind. <laughs> I think you're getting tired. I told you how to snooze. You can't quite decide if you want to snooze in your little hide. Oh, you want to snooze in my hand? Oh, good, I'm there. Except my hand gives pets. That makes it even better. But you know, you need to go to sleep. Bedtime for small boys. Yes, bedtime for small boys. See how they always put that little paw up when you pet them? It's because you put a little bit of pressure on muscles and so then the little paw just goes up like that. It does that and it doesn't do it when I pet him in another spot, only when I pet him here. The little paw goes up. So this is where he wants to actually have a snooze. And I think he'll leave if I stop petting. Oh, jeez. 